Hey everyone, welcome to Jimbo's Informative. It's been a couple weeks at least since I've been on here. Um, and you know, I have learned that I have a lot of things I like to talk about on here and then I fucking forget them. Uh, so I'm going to start trying to, uh, excuse me, um, keep it a notepad and just writing down little notes for me to talk about that stuff when it comes up. Uh, today I got in the mail, um, I have, so I have a new, uh, acoustic guitar amplifier that I got for, uh, my birthday <clears throat> and my acoustic guitar has a pickup in it and you just plug it in right through this little hole down here, but the pickup in the guitar is not functioning properly so i got a new one and i did some research and you can spend you can spend from thirty dollars up to shit, uh eight hundred dollars on a uh a, a pickup for your acoustic guitar i opted to go with the uh fishman uh black stack passive sound hole pickup. Uh, what it means uh, that it, when you say it's passive is it doesn't require a battery to operate it. Um, so, you know, it comes in a nice box, great box. Let's see here. Just trying to, uh, here we go. Let me get this open. Uh, uh. Uh, it does not want to open nicely for me. It's supposed to. Is it? Oh, there we go. There we go. Got it. Okay. So, ah, okay. So, come, you know, it's slid out of this guy. And then it's got a little flapper here that opens, I guess. And let's see if I can't. There we go. So, we got this. Comes in a little bag. And then it gives you a pickup lead. Okay, very cool. And it's got uh, this end, and this end goes into the pickup. And we've got uh, the little bag. Looks like we got the mounting clamp pieces. You got a little glare from the light there. Is that? I don't know what's going to make that better. Anyway, and then we got the pickup. So I'm going to work on uh, installing this here. Um, and then let's see, here's the pickup. That is very nice. It is, uh, there it is. And um, I'm assuming it's factory set. So um, basically what I have to do is I have to, uh, we got to remove the strap off the back of the guitar and we got to get, uh, we got to get this guy out. So, uh, this is going to be more of a tutorial video, but we're going to talk about some other stuff as well. Um, you know, just for fun, let's talk about, um, you know, I mentioned in the last one about how irritated I was at the movie theater about these fucking kids that would not shut the fuck up during the movie. And, uh, you know, lo and behold, the next movie you want to, we went to see Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. It was a good movie. It was all right. I enjoyed it. Um, I like Freddie Mercury. Um, you know, I've said before, he's my favorite fruity, Fruit Loop, homosexual. Um, you know, it's not my thing, you know, and you know, whatever, I'm trying to be understandable about it, even though the thought of that kind of just, it's just not my thing. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and I don't, I'm not going to feel bad that it's not my thing. You know, if it's your thing, that's fine. You know, that's great. Cool. You know, I'm not out running around having par parades over my thing. So anyway, so that thing comes out. So now we got a big hole and I cut the cord off of that. So that is pretty much dead now and I probably need to get over here and I'm going to go inside this guitar and cut some of these other wires out soon enough. But if they're not banging around, maybe I'll leave them in there just because who cares. So what we need to do is we need to get over here because this fella, hey, this fella, 
unscrew somehow. Let's see. Ooh. Like that. Really? Really? Okay, here we go. This threads on. I should probably, you know, look to see if there's instructions in here. Oh, there they are. They're underneath the little tray. Uh, who needs instructions? I'm a man. Men don't use instructions. Uh, we'll just take a quick peek. Uh, nothing there. So I guess it's all self-explanatory. Installation. Bit a 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 bit. Okay, done with that. That was very useful. Well, but by the time this gets through there, so we're gonna have to get this to loosen off. I don't have a wrench with me, so I'm gonna try to use a pair of scissors, which usually results in me cutting my hand open. Oh, it didn't this time though. There we go. Ah, yeah, that comes off. And then we got a bunch of washers here. Okay, so. Fit over that one. So I'm guessing this one goes on the inside. Yes, yes, it does. Now the trick is, is to get this, this end into the guitar and to get it to drop out the hole and then get the other washer and the stuff on. That's going to take some work. Hopefully, I don't. I, I, I might be able to do it without taking the strings off. Can't say for sure. Uh, but I should be able to because, like, for me, it should be an easy thing because I'm handy. And over here, this just looks like it's some simple plug and play. There we go. That is plugged. Ding, go, ding, go, ding. And then, and then of course, we'll leave that off for right now. And then, of course, we need to set this stuff up. Sorry, this is, yeah, I, I should have, I wanted to just open this, you know, live on the thing just to make it more real. Let's see what we got here. We got all of this stuff. Oh, we got a phone call coming in. Let's see who it is. Uh, let's see. Hello. Good afternoon. The Jacobs High School administration was made aware of a Snapchat video depicting two juveniles holding a weapon and drug paraphernalia. This is ridiculous. It is important to note that the video did not contain a threat towards. This world's getting out of control with these fucking kids and their videos and shit. Like, realistically, I really think, like, children should maybe, like, I don't know, not be able to have smartphones or tablets until they're, like, fucking 21. Because it's just, it's just getting out of control. All this bullshit. Some kids are goofing around, making stupid funny, thinking they're being funny, making a Snapchat video. And then some other fucking douchebag friend probably wasn't included, got their feelings hurt, and then, you know, made the school aware that, you know, and here's the thing with Snapchat is I thought, you know, they changed the way they do their stuff because it used to be that um, the video would just disappear after six seconds, never to be seen again. Now you can watch it over and over and over and over again, especially if you put it on your news feed. So, you know, that, I, I don't know. I just don't know what the story is with this stuff. Don't know. Where did this other little piece go? There it is. Okay, so... Maybe these little guys in there. I'm not exactly sure how they go though. So uh, the little cork pieces came. They were like sticky cork. So I put that on here because this is the piece that's going to mate with the body of the guitar. 
and this goes through and then this piece here is going to it's going to slide on this rail yeah so let's I don't know, let's get the right side here here we go this way oh that's oh yeah that's better so I'll show you when I do the other side let me just get this one threaded there we go and then on this side so this little piece here it's got the threaded part in it that the uh, we're gonna drop the screw in this hole here and then you can see the screw down there and then I don't know if you can see um, you got these little slides here this little guy here and there I don't know if you can see the the curvature on this these little pieces you got to line it up so the curvature lines up and then there this little tang that little tabby right there see it uh, maybe, and if you see it this way, it'll accentuate a little more. You'll see it sticking up on the bottom. It slides up in that little groove here. And, da -da 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 -da. and that slides in and it kind of almost locks in. So then once that's in there, you put your little screw in. Okay, so those are in. Now, the question here is what? are these guys for? Let's take a peek see. All right, well, you know, don't, I'm not exactly sure what these guys are for. They're like little metal things, and it looks like they give you an extra one. And then they got little padding on the other side, like rubber, little rubber padding on the other side. They're just, I, I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's for a different type of installation or something. I don't know. But so what we're going to, as we're going to, for, for now, and again, remember I said that, that, that this has a curvature to it, and you want to match this curvature to this curvature. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch our low, our high E string over to drop it into the hole. Nah, I said hello. And then we're going to come over here, and we're going to seize about. Let's get the cord out of the way. There we go. God bless America. I dropped it. Okay, it's okay though. No biggie. No biggie. Uh, I have to do the double finger method here. Here we go. Oh, I said finger. Uh, okay. So now we're going to again get the cord out of the way. There we go. And here we go. All right. So now, and you want to make sure you line this up so it's even, and because if you can, you can be like crooked like that or like that. So you want to make sure you're you're lined up perfectly because otherwise your sound won't be good. And once you feel like you're lined up good, once you feel like you're lined up properly, then you use a. I, I've got a little. Uh, specialty little Phillips screwdriver. You could probably do it with one of these like eight and one guys that come apart, you know, where every tip flips and the handle comes and spins around. But I got this, so I'm using it. Here we go. We'll spin one side up snug first. Then we're going to spin the other side up. There we go. Someone 
Just texted me. Let's see who it is. Ah, it's my cousin Meg. She just landed in Texas. Oh, it's nice and sunny in Texas. She's going to be in Waco for like eight days or some shit. Waco, Texas, or as I like to call it, Wacko, Texas. No particular reason why. Okay, so we're going to... So uh, two fingers that I'm tightening with, and I'm just... I'm not going crazy because I don't want to compress the wood, but I want it to, you know, I want it to be, you know, I want it to be GFT, which stands for good and fucking tight. But, you know, and I, but I don't want it to be so tight that I'm on the verge of stripping or breaking something. And it's just a feel you got to get over time. It's just one of the, you can't teach it. Sorry. Um, so, and then now the next step would be to, get uh this end you gotta drop it in here and then get to fall through the hole in the bottom which you know I, you know maybe i'll give it a, a a a quick half of an effort let's see because i might be able to do something like do this and then I, it's you're gonna be flying blind here but let's see we'll try just because Otherwise, I gotta take the strings off and do it. And these are like brand fucking new strings. The strings aren't that expensive, but I mean, you know, money adds up. I don't have a money tree. So we want to get one part of the cord away. And then we're going to hold this guy up like this and then. I'm looking right up into the hole here, and oh, and I got something in my fucking eyeball because I'm a fucking dumb fuck. Okay. Yeah, this, it's it's not going to, uh, it, it's, it's not, I, I'm going to have to take the strings off to do the permanent mount, uh, which I'll do later, but I can still... Uh, it's also meant you can use it as a temporary mount. So if you like a specific sound out of your like pickup for your acoustic guitars, you can, you know, technically transfer it from guitar to guitar. But for right now, and just real quick, uh, if you give me a second, I'm gonna just whip set the amp up real quick, and then we'll see how she sounds. Let's get a chord. Take a quick second. Sorry. Oh, so yeah, back to the movie thing. Sorry. I, I know I got sidetracked. We go to another movie. We went to see Queen. And um, a mom and her daughter come in late, sit down right next to us. And the fucking mom, it, it, it's still in preview. So it's still previews. The movie hasn't started, but the mom is just fucking talking like regular fucking speaking voice. Just fucking carrying on and on and on. Just like and giggling and it's just kind of like, what the fuck, lady? Um but they they did shut the fuck up when the movie started, but still, I mean it was like I could I it was affecting my ability to enjoy the previews. But not to the point where I had to like say something, which is like, come on, come on, are you really, 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 are you going to be talking over the movie this whole time? So we're just going to plug in here, which when this gets done, it'll be sticking out the bottom and I'll be plugging right in the bottom. It'll be real crisp and clean. That's plugged in. And let's see what we got here. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know how well this comes through because I don't have the fanciest of a webcam, but the, just those couple chords, it sounds great. I mean, 
I'm thrilled with it. I really like the sound of it. I like the look of it. I, I'm going to have to give it, uh, I'm going to have my initial rating. I'm going to give it five stars out of five for quality and craftsmanship and sound. Um, I will uh, make a mention on the next uh, informative or maybe the one after that, after I get this uh, permanently mounted. The mounting is a little tricky. So if you're not handy, it, you might have to pay someone to do it. But it, if you're, if you're, if you have a little, a slight mechanical aptitude, you can do it, but you know, you're going to probably have to pull the strings to do it because you got to have to get your hand through the hole and kind of bring it in and, and, and kind of guide it down to here and then kind of get, some, you, it's, it's just going to be a little tricky. And actually I might even have to have, I may have to have my 10 year old help me because she's got, you know, a smaller hand. I probably have to, I'll probably have to unmount it from here. So that way she can reach her hand in, drop it to the bottom and then remount this. It won't be that big of a deal, but it, you know, it's, it's going to take a little finagling anyway. So uh, that's my review of the Fishman sound hole pickup. Uh, I absolutely just fucking love it. Yeah, and can you hear that? Can you hear the... It's just it's just so rich. It, I'm I need to clip my nails, uh, so my 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 fretboard hand. I've got my fingernails are too long, and I'm not uh, fretting the cords very well. So, but uh, <laughs> this pickup is amazing. It's expensive. It was two hundred forty nine dollars. Uh, everywhere I shopped around, there's no discounts or deals to be had on it anywhere. It's just what it is. So, um, now who's bugging me? No. Um, but the quality and the sound, I mean, there's, if you know guitars and stuff like that, you know that Fishman for acoustic stuff, their amps, all their things, it's just, you know, it's like uh, the Bugatti or the Rolls Royce of you know, the amplifier, acoustic amplifier industry, if that's like a thing. Uh, but I mean, I just love it. I, the packaging down to everything was just, I'm very, very, very pleased. I just dropped something. I don't know what it was. What was that? No idea. Crusty or something. Anyway, um, that's great. So now we're gonna move on to uh over here. I uh I also am a big avid sword knife gun enthusiast. Any kind of weapons of any sort. I uh for Katie, because Katie is like likes medieval shit in uh, in addition uh to the crazy shit I got her for her birthday for Christmas, I got her a uh Highlander Bowie. It's a great knife. I've had this knife before myself personally, and which is why I bought it for because I knew she'd love it. And it's made by Gil Hibben. And you know, Gil Hibben has made some like signature knives that are amazing. These are a little mass produced now, but for a mass produced Bowie knife, for I think I got this for $39 uh, off of Bud K. This thing is. Uh, Pretty, 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 yeah, it's made in China now, but he designed the original one, and they're just, you know, they're going off of him, and they're mass producing it, but it's, it's still quite the blade, I mean, that's, I mean, as far as intimidating goes, I mean, 
someone's got this. I mean, short of having a gun, if someone's got this and, you know, I'm just saying, I think I might, uh, I might not fuck with them because I wouldn't want to get stabbed with this. That thing is, uh, let's see. Looks like we got a, oh, it's a solid, I mean, from the base of the hummel to the tip, about nine inches. It's pretty good. I like it. It's nice. It's got a great weight, great feel. This guy here and over here, it like, for me, uh, it fits my hand great. And I'm, and Katie's going to love it. Love it. And if she doesn't like it, then I'll take it. Nah. Uh, I don't know what else I got to say today. I know there's a bunch of stuff I wanted to talk about. I, it's a ton of shit I'm fucking aggravated about. Uh, a lot of people driving bullshit. Yeah, I'm, I'm really getting my wits on with the idiots on the road. We had our first snow here in the Chicago suburbs. And I mean, it's just every year it's the same thing. People just forget how to fuck it. They don't know how to drive in the first place, but they forget even more how to not drive. It's just ridiculous. This is my one caffeinated beverage per day. I'm on a diet. Um, diet Rocky Mountain, Diet Rocky Mist from uh, Miger, or as the rest of the world says, Meyer. Their regular Diet Cola kind of tastes like just wretched, but that's not bad. It's a generic Mountain Dew, whatever. So I'm, uh, so I got, uh, I don't want to say I got bullied because I can always say no, but I got uh, pressured into agreeing to a weight loss bet last Tuesday. And um, so my friend, Mike, we've been friends like for 40 years now. Okay. I mean, we've been, you know, I, I, I don't even remember when I didn't know him. And anyway, uh, Mike through our youth was always very slender. Could eat whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted and his metabolism burned it off. And I have always, you know, had to kind of watch what I eat or I would get, you know, uh, uh you know, a uh, pot gut. And, um, when uh, we were in our 30s, I, I, you know, I slimmed way down and uh, Mike, me, me, Mike's metabolism slowed down and he blew up and, you know, I was skinny and he was fat and, you know, and, and he can say he denies this till he's fucking blue in the face and I give a fuck. He used to tease the fucking shit out of me. He used to tease me in front of other people about being heavy, not being a good runner, being slow, being a little awkward sometimes, you know, poking fun, you know, for his own benefit to make himself look better. And, you know, Mike got fat and I was skinny and I kind of teased him a little bit about it. And then he like got all fucking bent out of shape and fucking bitchy. And, you know, dude, you're kind of hurting my feelings and being disrespectful to me. It's like, okay, you know, I'm sorry. I thought it was just fair game because, you know, you did this to me for 20 fucking goddamn years. But whatever, it's cool. I won't be an asshole to you like you were to me. It's cool. So now, um, I, you know, I rolled my ankle back in 2010. I gained 60 pounds. I've lost half of it. I've gained it back. I've lost half of it. I've gained it back. I'm 255 right now. Mike watched some stupid show called uh, The Magic Pill on Netflix. It's not stupid. But it, it basically sums up the keto diet, and the keto diet basically is the Atkins diet reinvented. The principle of the keto or the Atkins diet is, is you eliminate the carbohydrates from your diet, and it switches your metabolism into a state of ketosis. Um, so, but it's, it's a very high protein, low carb, low sugar diet. You know, a lot of people say the keto diet's not the Atkins diet. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, I don't, there's no other way to cut it. I mean, the Atkins diet kind of fizzled out and I've tried it and it's hard. You know, it's, it, you know, not a lot of people can eat that much meat. You have to really, really love your fucking vegetables to be able to stay on the keto diet in today's day and age, because there's just so much yummy food out there. It takes a very strong willed person to stay in that diet for a long period of time. So, you know, he, he, uh, and I've, 
I have a garage and I got a, a great personal home gym and I, you know, I've tried uh, re asking Mike to come work out with me, come stretch with me, and he just he just won't do it. He says, "Yeah, you're pressuring me. You're pressuring me," and it's I don't I don't buy that. I think he's just either fucking lazy or he just doesn't want to work out with me. I don't know. I I don't understand what it is, but I don't get. I don't feel like I get an honest answer about it, other than feeling like he's just being lazy. Um. So anyway, he watched this movie and he's on a kick and he. Uh, Started working out at this place where he gets uh, free or low low membership dues with his wife, which is great. I'm glad he's working out, you know. Um, and you know he he lost nine pounds, and uh, he's like, "Yeah, I'm getting down to 200." He's like, "All amped up and ready to go. I'm getting down to 200. I'm getting down. I'm getting getting back in my fighting weight, you know, <laughs> getting the abs back." <laughs> and uh, we're in the locker room at Lifetime. There's like four of us. And uh, somehow the next thing I know, uh, I'm getting proposed with a bet that we should uh, wager to see if we could, if for $200 to get down to 200 pounds by March 1st. And I was, you know, I wasn't like resistant to it, but I was like, well, let's, let's talk about this a little bit. And Mike fucking bulldozer like no 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 what's the matter are you a fucking yellow are you a chicken what's what's the, what's the problem where were you you got no balls what's going on i mean here, I'm, here's my hand you want to shake it take the bet come on what are you a pussy what are you a pussy i was like okay fine fuck it i'll take your bet and uh not even a week later he's like uh we need to uh re-examine the parameters of our bet and i'm like what the fuck are you talking about and like are you talking about the fact that it's 100 days to lose 60 pounds basically because he was like 261.3 or something. And I was like 259.4. Something like we're within two pounds of each other. Like a shit. You know, we were within one crap, one good dump of each other in weight. So basically the same. We're both six foot, six one. He thinks he's six two. I, I'm, he, he's not six two. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, So I'm like, you know, we're getting ready to play volleyball. And I'm like, you know what? Let's talk about it later. Because after volleyball, we go hit the hot tub and the steam room and the sauna and stuff. Let's talk about it when the hot tub. You know, we're, it's volleyball time now. Let's stay focused, you know, so we play good. So we get out there and he's like, yeah, you know, if you remember, I said, you know, we like 15 pounds a week. And, and I'm like, yeah, and if I remember, you stuck your hand in my fucking face and like me take the bet for March 1st to be 200 pounds. And he's like, yeah, but you also remember saying this. I'm like, dude, you know, I'm, you know, I can't help you out, bro. You shook on a bet and you made the date. I didn't pick the date up. I didn't ask for a bet. You did. You. And he's like, well, I think we need to change it to uh, April 1st because I, I wanted it to be 15 pounds a month. And I'm like, you know what, dude? I'm not changing the bet. You are the one that approached me. You are the one that had your hand in my face to shake. And you were the one that was just acting like a bulldozer about it. And I'm like, no, I'm not letting you out of it. And he you know, gets all bitchy and pissy and moany. And I hope you're watching this, Michael. <laughs> uh, so I was like, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm not willing to change the parameters of the bet at this time. I'll think about it. And I'll let you know next Tuesday. Um, but, I mean, if you want out of the bet, I guess I'll let you out of the bet if you want to say, uncle. And to those of you, I've been told that it's my, you know, I guess I'm in a fucking old man now because I guess people don't know what the fuck saying uncle means anymore. It's dumbfounding to me. But in our day, if like, say you had someone's face and you're smashing it and a dog pissed on snow and just rubbing it in there. And uh, the thing that would make you stop is if they said uncle or mercy, either one, either one are both equally humiliating, but Saying uncle is, is basically the same thing as saying mercy. And it, what it means is that uh, you are the weakest piece of fucking organic material on the planet. You have no spine. The person you're saying uncle to is better than you in every way, shape, and form possible. And you submit to them and you're their bitch. So he said uncle. So he's a bitch. Um, so the bet's off now. It lasted a week. And, uh, you know, uh, I thought about it and I will figure, you know, the bet was made on 
November 20th. And next week I will, I will extend the bet. I will re offer the bet and make it go to, um, instead of March 1st, March 20th, because that's the, the full amount of time. And uh, the prior week, because he was bragging about how he lost nine pounds since the weekend or whatever. So, and then he can take it or not take it. So there you go. Uh, I'm still staying tried and true. I'm on the diet. I'm, you know, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't a little miserable. I could fucking... I can eat a side of beef and a couple bags of potatoes right now. I tell you what, but you know, I don't like uh, getting up in the morning and like be, being not able to move for a half hour. Cause my joints are all stiff and sore because I'm fat. Cause I'm fucking 259 pounds. So uh, that's that. So I thought I'd talk about that. Um, what else do I have? Uh, my former friend, Vinny burgers is still a fucking disappointment to me very very still very hurt disappointed and upset about Vinnie burgers uh he still has not apologized i don't think he understands that he actually he he hurt my feelings my feeling i just i did i, I explained that I, I i don't have feelings i only have one feeling because the people in my life have destroyed my feelings so I, i'm just down to one last lowly little feeling and he hurt it he hurt it good hurt my feeling. And, you know, whether he thinks he did or not, my feeling is still hurt. You know, he can't determine how I feel and he just doesn't seem to get it. So he'd rather not have a friend and say, Hey, you know, I'm sorry. I hurt your feeling. So Vinnie Burger is dead to me. And that's my, his name is Vincent Bedino, but, uh, he, uh, has a hyphenated name because his mom's and his parents and he doesn't care for his dad's name. So I thought it would be fun to and he hates being called Vince or Vinny. He likes to be called Vincent. And I mean, he's entitled to that. But while I'm being disrespected and having my feelings hurt, I refer to him now and forever as Vinny Burgers. And <laughs> just how it goes there. Ha <laughs> ha. Until, you know, he wants to uh, come to me and make up, you know, apologize for hurting my feeling. That's how it's going to be, Mr. Burger. Uh, that's all I got for today, guys. It's almost 40 minutes. I feel like I'm just going on and on and on and on. You know, as as always, please dislike the video. We do not want any likes. It's going to be our thing here. It, Jimbo's informative. No likes. And um, only dislikes. Um, comments, questions in the comments space or uh, email me, jimwilson72 at gmail.com. And, you know, if you want me to do my little... Uh, it's still being a formative, but if you want me to keep uh, the uh, the stuff like the knife and the pickup separate from my babbling on, I can do that. But I, I I'd rather do it all together, just have a more well rounded informative. Um, and that's that. I got some good topics for the next one, but I got to go for now. All right, bye guys. Take care.